Good morning. So I just thought I'd check in to talk about um, the value of getting your business or your service or the book that you're writing into the media. So I've been really enjoying running my own your own PR workshops and um, yeah, really loving it. And it's been really gratifying to realize that I have some great skills that are valuable to other people. And I've particularly enjoyed the feedback from women who have said that I have given them the confidence to be more visible and the yeah and also to think bigger to to think that they don't just need to look at the local press but they can think national media so I just wanted to talk about um, yeah I've been really thinking about the value trying to explain the value in getting our story into the media so if I can talk a little bit about my story um, when I left my job as a political journalist for Reuters, I went freelance and um, I began to blog on a blog that's now called From 40 With Love. And I didn't have many readers on that blog. I was new to blogging, new to Twitter. Um, but when I got my story in a story, I wrote a blog for a friend's site, Jodie Day, Gateway Women, wonderful site. Um, and Jodie was better connected than me. Um, she was in touch with a journalist and that journalist saw my story on Jodie's site, so I was guest blogging, and that journalist suggested I wrote a piece for the Daily Mail. And when I wrote that piece for the Daily Mail, which was, at the time was on dating and singleness at 40, when you don't have children, um, and how difficult that is, that piece from the Daily Mail drastically increased the number of people who were reading my blog, so it went from a very small number at the time to 600 and something. So that blog yeah that that daily mail story has been has amplified my voice and given me a bigger platform people still find that story online um radio 4 found it uh, earlier this year and they rang me up hi sonraya they rang me up to do an interview um on that topic on a similar topic so, and also that blog that I write and the guest blog that I did um, led me to guest blog on the Huffington Post and also to write blogs for a website called We Are The City. Now there, that's for women who work in the city in London. And from there, I've just noticed that a couple of my blogs recently, um, so one I wrote had 11,500 people reading it and um, another one had 5,000 people reading it. So I am amplifying my audience. Hi, Sarah. I'm amplifying my audience by guest blogging on sites that are, 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 have more readers than mine. So if at the time I had something to sell on my website, so people read my blog and they were linked back to my website, and I had something to sell, at the time I didn't have anything to sell or offer, and I wasn't offering any services. I was just writing. But if I had, if you can imagine that your your market has gone from, say, 200 people who read your blog to 10,000 or 11,000 who are reading another blog that you are writing on. So, and another story about, um, you know, as, as you know, I've been writing a book for quite a long time. So I'm really passionate about helping authors, people who are writing books, get their message out there. Because as we know, we need media coverage, PR for firstly for agents to be interested and for publishers to be interested but also if we're self-publishing to get that book sold to a wider audience so uh, a few years ago i wrote a guest uh so i wrote a small blog for comment is free the guardian's comment is free so 600 words um it was a news related blog and on the back of that um small blog um the sunday times asked me to write a feature and on the back of that feature, Newsnight asked me to go on to Newsnight with Mariella Fostrop to talk about being single at 40-something and not having children and dating, which was the topic that I'm, I'm writing about. Um, so as an author, as a budding author, it was amazing to go from having... Hi, Johnny. Amazing to go from having a small, a small blog on Comment is Free that then took me to the Sunday Times. Hi, Shelley that then took me to Newsnight. Um, so if you can imagine, on the back of the Newsnight, um, when I was on Newsnight, on the back of that, I sent my book proposal to agents and I got five 
offers from agents. So as a budding author, that is the value of getting your story in the media, of doing PR. Um, my book, it still isn't published. The ag I chose an agent. Hi, Vicky. I chose an agent and that book went out to publishers and they decided that it was too niche, which I think is not the right decision. But I realised that wasn't the right book at the time. So I'm still writing that book. And my goal now is to build my platform by doing my own PR so that when I self-publish or when I get an agent and a publisher, then I have a much bigger platform from which to write and sell my book. So that is how I see the value of getting our stories in the media. And that's why I'm really passionate about helping women, empowering women to access these magazines like Red, Psychologies. So I have a feature going in Red magazine on in January. So I've written for them a few times. Um, and that feature is really well timed because as some of you know, another of my passions is helping people get into healthy relationships and find love, particularly later in life around their 40s, which is when I managed to make a relationship work and fall in love. So I have a feature going, a story, my story, my journey, going in Red Magazine in January. And, you know, that is ideal because I'm starting to launch a coaching business around dating and relationships, helping people get in touch with what they need, identify their patterns and and overcome whatever barriers they might have to love. So when that story goes in red in January, people will come to my website and they will see what I'm offering. And I increase my market, I attract, you know, I, I get in touch with the clients who I believe would be willing to, to work with me. Um, you know, readers of red who might be single and looking for a relationship, they're the kind of people I'd love to work with. So that is how I see the value of PR of getting our story into the media. So um, I've been doing a lot of workshops and I'm really enjoying it. And I have one this Monday. Um, I'm doing it remotely, so it's via live video. I'll be doing it over Zoom. I have three wonderful women signed up and I have two more places. So it's really small group and it's really intensive. And on these workshops, I show you the tools of the trade. So how to think like a journalist, how to think what other journalists might like to hear, what the magazines would like. Hi, Denise. Um, so, yeah, to think like a journalist so that when you send your story into these magazines, that it, it hits, it's a hit. And they take it to their editorial meetings and they're excited about it and then they commission your story or they send a reporter to write about you. So I'm talking about the tools of the trade about journalism and um, and also working individually on this workshop on Monday, working individually with each of the five participants on their individual story and how to craft it and how to pitch it and how to identify the target audience. So how to, how to know which editor to send it to and how to phrase that email and write their story in a way that's really engaging. So that workshop is this Monday. It's remote, so it's via live video link. So if anyone would like to um, sign up or ask me any questions about that, do let me know. Um, I'll put the Facebook event link at the bottom. It's £175, and I do hope that I've explained in this video the value that getting our story out there into the media can bring to our business, to our service, or to the book that we're writing. So thank you for watching and I'm wishing you a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.